TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We had the uh, Dow Industrials finish down 31. We had the Nasdaq off 48. S&P's down 14. We take a look at the percentages out here. You get shot percentages, folks. Dow is down one tenth of one percent. Nasdaq down six tenths. S&P's down two. Uh, now, uh, what you want to pay attention to is that if we go over to this composite, what you are going to see is that the composite as well as the NDX 100. These have been the strongest indices. Um, and the composite is closing right at the lower range. Uh, it's pretty amazing, actually. Uh, so the number, the exact number is 7643.65, and we're at 7643.37. So it looks like this composite is going to be the first one uh, in, inside the, the the NASDAQ as well as the composite to get back in, the, in its lower range. Uh, NDX 100, that still has almost 94 points to get back inside the lower range. Uh, S&P's, tough time holding price whatsoever as the Dow Industrials. Gold contract, gold contract down $6.60, trading at $13.08. Uh, gold came down on lighter volume than it's going into, but uh, we're going to take a look at this. What you're going to see out here is that we did contract volume of 197,000 contracts. You're going into, I believe, 387. So this contract, yeah, you're going into 370. Uh, gold wants higher price. And what I expect that we're actually going to see out here, you're going to get some fireworks uh, out here inside the currencies tonight, folks, because uh, what has happened is that, and this just came across the tape literally about uh, four minutes before four, uh, that Theresa May has now promised to resign as British Prime Minister if she can get her Conservative Party colleagues, it's her, it's, it's her party, uh, to drop their opposition to the Brexit strategy and vote to ratify the deal. So uh, that's quite a, uh, a give up in, in the aspect. So uh, what you can expect is that two of the, uh, the bigger um, politicians inside that party have said that uh, and that's uh, Boris Johnson as well as uh, Ian Smith, that they are going to back down and they are going to support that divorce agreement. So that is going to put some firepower underneath that British pound tonight. That will take firepower away from our U.S. dollar. Stay right there, folks. Come right back to recap. We had the Dow Industrials down 32. NASDAQ was off 48. S&P's down 13. We're coming right back.